Ferrari has revealed its latest one-off built by its special projects division, and the result is a ruthless wonder called the SP8. It's based on the aging Ferrari F8 Spider, but nobody will ever mistake it for that car. This is more in the vein of the recent KC23 Special Edition in that it's a car built to satisfy one client's particular wishes, specifically a client from Taiwan. The name was chosen because the number 8 is considered extremely lucky in Chinese culture, but that wasn't the biggest request the client made. The commissioning buyer wanted no roof at all, which makes this a thoroughbred roadster, and that naturally required a lot of CFD analysis and aerodynamic simulations. While we doubt this will ever exist as much more than a static display, Ferrari says that the car was also tested on the track to ensure that wind noise was not excessive, even when driving hard. But the focus of this car is its styling, so let's talk about that. The darker elements you see on the bodywork are made of carbon fiber, with a glossy iridescent blue sandstone finish, that wraps all the way around the car to create a contrasting two-tone effect with the matte Argento Michelozzato paint. Blue Scuro Stilato paint is said to link the two bodywork sections, but we can't see it here. With no need to accommodate a folding hardtop, the entire rear end was restyled, now wearing taillights that have been lifted from the Roma and enhanced with special lenses. The vented deck lid is especially attractive, but cast your eyes higher, and the real beauty of the design becomes apparent. The side intakes have been repositioned and restyled and now appear in matte black with separate ducts for the intercoolers and the intakes. An additional vent is subtly integrated to help more hot air escape from the engine, and we suspect that those artsy matte Grigio NRT wheels, inspired by those on the legendary F40, do the same for heat extraction from the brakes. Knowing Ferrari, we expect that these wheels help smooth the airflow over the side of the supercar, too. At the front, a full-width cast aluminum grille made from a single 3D, printed mold follows the same straight theme of the rear, with the angling of the grille elements carefully optimized to ensure no disruption in aerodynamic efficiency. The headlights have also been redesigned with special masks and lenses, while the windscreen and exhaust tips are exclusive to this car. Inside, the center console sees a modified shift gate, but Ferrari hasn't yet provided any close-ups of the changes. The laser-etched seats are finished in navy blue Alcantara with gradient effect cloth, and the carpets get a specific twill fabric with an iridescent effect. Yellow contrast accents are also apparent. Again, some better images would have been nice, guys. As a one-off built for a very special private customer, there will likely never be an official answer on what this build cost, but you can bet it was somewhere in the seven-figure mark. The question that really matters is, what's next? Ferrari said it would reveal four new cars this year. We've already seen the SF90XX twins, the Roma Spider, and the one-off KC23. Is this the fourth and final, or do special projects fall into a separate category? We'll just have to wait and see.